Hello, welcome to Steven Speak Extra Speak. Uh, a few episodes ago, maybe four or five episodes ago, um, this is episode 37 now. So, yeah, probably about four episodes ago. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, I spoke about channeling Bruce Lee, you know, using some nunchucks I'd bought off the internet and smacking myself in the face. Um, and I'd said that this wasn't the only thing that I used to do, um, you know, channeling my inner ninjutsu, karate, kung fu um, heroes, uh, or film heroes. So I'm just going to go through a couple of things I did as a kid. Um, when I was younger than Bruce Lee, no, not Bruce Lee, younger than when I channeled Bruce Lee, so when I was a kid, and the other things I used to use and, and have weapons and play. Let's 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 get into it because I'm not making much sense, like as per usual. So yeah, stick around. Welcome to Steven Speak Extra Speak, a little more prattle on everything and nothing. That intro was terrible. Um, yeah, so what, I'm what I was trying to say is, like, I was channeling Bruce Lee, having nunchucks nearly knocked myself out, probably shouldn't have been doing it, I was about 18 or 19 at the time. Um, never used them again, because I literally thought I could kill myself, like, I proper knocked myself out, go and listen to that episode, it was, it, it, it was a bad time. Um, but I, I hinted that in that episode that it wasn't the first time I'd done stuff like that, and as a kid, you know, you, you see people on TV, and you see your heroes, and, and fictional characters, and... Uh, you know, you, you, you reenact things like, you know, I know it says on WWE, or you shouldn't do anything that we do, we're professionals, blah, blah, but you still three mate through a table every so often, just, you know, because it's cool. Uh, please don't do that. Um, not that I ever have. Um, but yeah, but you do them things because imitation is something that humans do. Um, but when I was a kid, I used to love, like, the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I still do. Um, I loved Indiana Jones. Uh, like, these are the things that, you know, um, I was into. I loved swash, swashbuckling films. I loved ninja films. I loved um, I loved, loved the Lone Ranger. I used to love watching the Lone Ranger in cowboy films. So these are the things I used to read at. So, like, obviously cowboy stuff, like with guns and pretend I was a cowboy. My my, my imagination, is, is it, it doesn't need much encouragement. Uh, and when I was a kid, I could play with hours, for, for hours on my own, you know, imagining other characters and interacting and, and like, imaginary friends, really, because I used to play alone quite a lot, because I kind of preferred it because I was in charge of everything. Um, I was in charge of everything that I could imagine. I didn't have to make um, allowances for another person joining me, although I did like playing with friends, but I it, playing with friends was always something fixed, like a computer game or a board game where there was rules, uh, whereas... Imagination stuff was me. I, I I preferred that just to be me, because then I could dictate the way things went. Because basically, I, I believe that most people are wrong when they imagine stuff, so they're not doing the right thing. And I hate it when they go off on a tangent. Because I'm like, you know, that's not fitting in with my world. That's not what I'm imagining. Shut up and go away. I'll do it myself. Uh, and I'm like that with a lot of things, to be honest. Uh, it makes me sound like an absolute cock, but uh, I'm not really. I'm quite a nice chap. Well, I th I see I I think I'm all right. I don't think I'm that bad. Hopefully, people would agree. Um. Anyway, Turtles, Indiana Jones, um, cowboy films. Cowboy films. You normally have a prop. It's normally a cowboy pistol, isn't it? Let's face it. A six shooter. I had a freaking cracking shotgun when I was a kid, which was amazing. And uh, I also had um some ninja throwing stars. Uh, that my mum bought me as a set. I got them taken off me, though, because I threw them at my brother and hit him in the eye. Probably not the best toy, really. Um, but I used, to, I used to be ace at throwing them, to be fair. I used to practice loads. Uh, really in self-defence, because he could be a bit of a bastard to me. Um, but like the biggest thing I used to use was a, a stale off a, of a, of a brush, so just the, the wooden, uh, you know, long pole, basically, and pretend it was Donatello from the Turtles. Um, didn't really have any swords when I was a kid. I had a, I had like an old, like a cheap replica, I think, of a, a Thundercat sword. I think it was meant to be a Thundercat sword, but it was really crap. More like a Camelot sword, but it was meant to be Thundercats. Um, 
I had I had a proper one as well, but I never used to use that for anything because I was it has to stay pristine. Um, but yeah, I had this. I used to use my old dad, my dad's old brush heads. Uh, no, I'd take the brush head off and then just use the stale. And um, that's a weird name, isn't it? Though I never, I never knew for years that that's what they called the bloody handle of a brush. It's a man's stale. Anyway, um, but yeah, I was Donatello for that. I used to swing it around and I got pretty good at like you know doing some tricks and stuff. Didn't ever hit myself in the head with that. Although it probably was quite dangerous because I was quite sure that it took a little bit of extra extra effort on my part. Um. But yeah, I used, to, I used to love, you know, just walking around holding this stick. Um, thinking I was, like, beating the shit out of the Foot Clan, basically. And, uh, and then every so often swinging it around, I probably looked shit. Like, in my brain, I was like the dog's bollocks, you know what I mean? Like, I was swinging it around, doing all these tricks, you know, leading the turtles. And then I would change to, to Michelangelo. Uh, I used to have, like... Um, it wasn't a nunchuck, it was just like a thing on a string. What was it? What was it on that I had? It was like a thing on a string. It was like an old toy, but it was like two strings together, and it was like a toy. Can't even remember what it was, but that's, I used to put in there with nunchucks before I actually had nunchucks. Um, yeah, so, but Donatello's thing, because I actually had a thing that was exactly like his bloody weapon, which was staff. So, uh, O-staff, I believe they call them. Uh, but yeah, so I used to use that and, and have, have a jolly good time walking around the garden. Uh, Beating the crap out of Shredder in the Foot Clan, uh, and Bebop and Rocksteady, um, and then also Indiana Jones. Uh, I used to love Indiana Jones' his wit and all that sort of stuff. And I I remember really really vividly. Uh, this is the thing I used to do quite a lot while humming the the Indiana Jones uh, theme tune. Is we had like an old skipping rope, but it had lost. It had wooden handles, but it had lost one of the handles, so it was literally not. You could still use it as a scooping rope, obviously, but one of the handles had, co- had come off. Um, it was just like a stub where it was tied onto the wood. Um, I think you, you probably wouldn't be able to get wooden. I bet they'd be well expensive now as well, wooden, wooden skipping rope. You can get, like, plastic handled ones and, like, them weird ones that are, like, a nylon cord. Really bizarre. It would hurt like hell if you hit yourself with them. Like the fitness training ones. Um, but, like, this was, like, a proper proper rope. And wooden handles, but say, think with the abuse my brother, my brother and uh, me had given them over the years, and I'd throw them into the back of the shed and just drop them and stuff. One of them, say, one of the handles would come off, but that was my whip, because obviously I had one handle, and it was just a rope on the end, so that was my Indiana Jones whip. I used to walk around, and I used to tuck it into my pants as if, you know, if it was on my belt. Um, but we had like a big side gate in our house, and uh, I used to, because I was so small, I used to like throw handle end so it was like a grappling hook and climb the gate uh, as if I was like escaping from like some sort of dungeon and stuff I never used to I never actually went over the top of the gate because I knew my dad would go mad and it was always locked as well so I had locked myself out of my garden um, so I got to I used to get to the top hang off it and then drop down and reenact it again but I got pretty good at like making the whip like well this rope track like a whip um I used to love it. I used to love that. It was me being an Indiana Jones, you know. I always wanted the hat. That's the only thing I never had. I never had the hat to go with it. Um, never had a cowboy hat as well, actually, when I was a kid. I had, like, cowboy belt and guns and stuff. Never had a cowboy hat. And uh, I do now. I do now. I bought myself one years ago. And I wear it ever so often. Um, you get a lot of strange looks when you wear a cowboy hat, though. Um, maybe not in America, but you do where I live. Um, I, think that's, I think I quite suit it, to be fair. And I think... I think I should wear it more, to be honest. It's sat behind me. But currently, it's it's. Uh, I have the Shakespeare bust from uh, the original Batman series that my mate Scott bought me. So it's a, I think it's a uh, a money bank, but it looks exactly like the Shakespeare hat head uh, bust. Uh, but it's he's wearing that at the moment. Uh, but I should wear it more. It's like a waxed uh, Stetson. Anyway, I digress. I always wanted the. Uh, the Indiana Jones hat. But I used to react. I used to reenact the uh, the boulder scene um, from Raiders uh, and pretend I was snatching my hat back from under the under the gate. Yeah, but there you go. You know, I used to uh, I used to use my imagination a lot, and uh, I, should, I should I should use it more. I should use it more. I'm trying to say I'm writing stuff and I'm. The blog's helping, I think, as well. Go and watch go and watch that. Go and read that, if you've got time. Uh, they're not very long. Uh, probably take you a couple of minutes to read each of them. 
uh, when I write them, I write them in a word word processor and copy them onto the website. And they're only normally like two two pages long, three pages long. So nothing major, just little little anecdotes and and drips of my thoughts uh, in in word form. Uh, if you haven't had enough of my uh, incessant ramblings, um, incessant is that a word? Is that is that the right word? Is 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 the thing? Um, I've had a few days off work and my brain's slowly relaxing, but now I'm back to work tomorrow, so that that sucks. Anyway, um, I finished talking about what I was on about, and now I'm just talking. Um, maybe I should do an episode on that one day and just talk. Isn't that what it's all about, though? I don't know. Anyway, let me know what things you did as a kid. Did you you reenact anything as a kid? Did you kind of cosplay, maybe even as a kid? Did you have the outfits? And uh, did you know you can buy outfit outfits now? Not so much when I was a kid. You could a little bit, but they weren't as probably as fancy as they were now as they are now. Uh, but did you do that? Did you dress up and did you did you use a uh, brush tail as a bow staff, pretending you're Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Hero Turtles, as it was called in the UK? Uh, stupid censorship. Um, anyway, yes, uh, let me know and uh, take care of yourself, and I will uh, speak to you all very soon. You've been listening to Stephen Speak Extra Speak. Thanks for listening to my unscripted prattle on everything and nothing. Visit stevenspeak.com for updates, information, and my blog. You can follow more updates on social media at stevenspeakpc. Thanks very much, and I'll speak to you soon.